Hello, uh, welcome to Closure Diary. So I just uh, noticed two ways of doing loops in Closure. So one is called for, and another one is called dosset. So I'm just going to tell you the difference between that. So, but before that, yeah, let me just uh, give me a, uh, give you an intro. So let's say like you just have something like range one to ten. So in Closure, you need to put like one to eleven right so so yeah so you just get this numbers 1 to 10 so dosic works something like this okay so like uh, you just put dosic t o s e q okay and then you just assign it to some variable let's keep it as i right and then you can do whatever you want so i just want to print it so uh let me just uh do a print over here so print I think print works just like print lens. So print i and then let me just put a space over here or something like that. A comma and space. So, right. Okay. So that's the thing, right? Uh yeah, I hope this is right. Okay, so why it shows an error i have no idea you're supposed to put this as a list okay so that's the thing now let me just try to format it by pressing tab i hope yeah now it's okay i just think so i'm just printing it so i'm just getting like numbers like 1 to 10 over here so if i hope you can just see it over here right so 1 to 10 i can just get it okay so um there is also another loop called for okay so and uh, let me just try to do this just replace dosec with for and let me just do that okay so you do get 10 uh, 1 to 10 printed but in dosec you just get one nil output and for for you just get actually 10 nils as output so what really happens over here right so uh okay uh dosic returns nothing no matter whatever you do it returns nothing okay so that's the thing so and it just returns only one value out and that's nil that is it returns nothing you can safely assume like even though if it returns nil it's nothing okay so that's the thing right but for okay like it collects all the re uh, returns of print okay so if you actually print okay if you just put like okay like let me just show it to you like uh if you just put something like okay like print uh what to say pi and and execute it look you just get phi and nil that's because phi is get printed and you're just this nil is nothing but the return of the print statement so nothing gets returned so it, it it's nil so uh your closure ripple prints it okay so that's how it is so this one returns nil 10 times and for collects it and finally it gets returned out of this loop. okay so that's the thing so where it kind of comes useful is like yeah let me just comment out this code like uh so uh why do i need to comment yeah no need to comment let it be like this okay so where it kind of uh comes useful is like okay like let's say like you just want to have a function like okay like uh let's say like uh okay yeah uh a roll of two dice okay let us have a function called roll of uh, two dices okay and i just want to say like uh okay and i just uh what to say like uh uh what to say and uh, let me just assume that okay the dice has only like uh, okay this die face is like one to seven so i've already done it right over here so so let me just put it in let okay so let okay die faces is one to seven 
and now i just want to uh uh okay like generate all pro uh, probabilities like one comma one one comma two and so on and so forth and till six comma six okay so i just want to see how it works okay so so i just want to return all the combinations or uh yeah all the uh, uh, combinations of row of two die phases. i i think actually permutations yeah permutations of uh roll of two die phases so what i can just do is like okay like if i just put something like okay like this thing this function right let me just copy it and then let me just put it over here right and let me just execute it right hopefully it works okay so now let me just call it roll of two dice nothing gets generated that's because of this dosic okay so dosic uh if you want you can just put print and just print it out but if you want to return it out of a function no dosic doesn't work in fact you need to put it put it in for okay, so for and yeah so now let me just execute this function right so that's how it works okay so this returns okay this doesn't okay this dosic let me just put it something like this uh okay D O S E Q and just let me change to dosic right and let me just call this stuff nothing gets returned so nil gets returned okay so so that's the thing right the for works for it but the uh, dosic won't work if you want to return something out okay if you want to print something out yeah, yeah that's different okay this this thing will work okay but yeah if you're returning something and if you want to do it uh, repetitively and something like that and you want to collect it if you want to do something repetitively collect it and return use for okay so that's the thing and if you want to call other, some other function let's say you just want to print something or something like that use dosic so let me even just put something like okay print over here right print okay so and then let me just put a comma over here right so that like it gets printed out right so now let me just call this yeah so everything gets printed out right so that's how it is right so that's the thing dosic is used for okay and it uh and oh here if you just see like okay like there's only one nil okay the return of the print doesn't work okay so you need to mind that okay so that's the thing okay so yeah let me just leave it just like that okay or okay okay like uh okay one second So let me just leave it just like that so that you'll just know okay so how this for and dosic works okay so how this works okay so uh uh this for and all like works okay so you just have this die faces from one to seven right so let me just execute it here right die faces from one to seven so x is there so x, we know like okay this die faces is uh nice faces is actually yeah one to six okay so like if you just put range one to seven it actually means one to six don't ask me why it's so confusing but that's how it is so yeah so now what happens is okay uh it is it becomes like two for loops actually like so the y will iterate from one to seven and for every excess one and then for every excess two the y will iterate from another one to seven so let let us just print it okay so so the x is first one okay and now y is one then x is one y is two and so on and so forth till it goes till x is six then automatically x will iterate to two okay so from here if you can see x iterates from two and so on and so forth then y goes from one to six so on and so forth till x is six and y goes from one to six okay so all this has been collected and returned but in dosic it doesn't return okay so it just doesn't return it just returns only uh it just it's just nil so like if you want to do something like printing or something like that dosac might 
be good apart from that nothing else okay so you shouldn't return from dosic okay so that's the thing oh here we're just printing it out of course printing is not returning uh, both are different so that's how it is so everything gets printed and you just get nil at last okay so yeah this is the main difference between for and dosic for returns dosic does it okay so that's the thing so while you're doing functions and while you're doing loops please have it in mind so yeah that's it from me thanks for watching uh, let's see in next video